Hey guys, welcome back to the outpost. Um, I'm actually working on building another raised bed. Um, my plans are to put another one up behind this one when I get it done and build possibly two more on that side from where I'm going to have a back deck come out from the house and I'm going to have a set of stairs coming up to the top here and then possibly another half one in front of that rhododendron going kind of at an angle right there because I do plan on um, kind of sectioning that off and uh, planting some flowers and things like that in that little curve right there but uh, yeah it's almost time for planting season um, I need to get a few plants out right now actually uh, so when I finish this bed right here what I may do is go ahead and pull those trellises that I had for the tomatoes down there pull those up and use that first bed to get some plants out that actually need to be planted now um, but yeah spring is right around the corner and it was actually 73 degrees yesterday I think it was a little bit cooler today probably like 56 is supposed to be the high but uh, those days are getting here um, and daylight savings time actually starts so I'm excited I got the cabin finished thank the Lord um, got the exterior put on it and so I'm going to kind of reserve that for rainy days my next project once I get these up and going is uh, going to start on the chicken house back there there's still a lot of treetops back there that I need to clean up but um, I can do that at my leisure it's not really anything that I need help with but uh, I do have some help coming to help me dig the holes and uh, get some posts set to get started but uh, anyway I uh, hope you guys sit back, stay tuned, and, and enjoy today's video. Hey guys, don't mean to interrupt the video, but uh, we've been doing a whole lot of thinking and a whole lot of soul searching. And I don't know if you guys uh, know, but my girlfriend is actually moving into Tennessee. She took a job locally. She's going to be living in the same town that I am. And so I'm excited about having her here. And uh, 
we thought, my son, my daughter, we talked it over and we thought that it would probably be the best thing for the channel if I went back to two days a week uh, on the outpost videos and one day a week on the review videos because um, I spend so much time filming, as you know, I've been doing it every day and then editing every night. Uh, when she gets here, I will need to spend some more time with her. So we thought it would be best uh, if I cut back a little bit and um, of course she's very understanding but uh, just wanted to let you guys know that we'll have a video on Monday and Friday like we used to on the Outpost channel and then on Wednesdays we will have a review video. And we also discussed that it would probably be better for the channel anyway because I would be able to bring you more content instead of uh, videoing every day and you just seeing little baby steps being made you see a whole lot more um, production actually happening when I do turn the videos out and we thought that like I said it would be um, possibly more informative on the review channel because I would basically highlight the whole week and also it would probably be more entertaining to watch on the outpost channel since and and they may be a little bit longer since I'll be able to show a whole lot more being done but all of that is done in preparation for her being here and uh, us being together and having some not only more family time with my daughter and grandson um, and you know my other extended family but also just allow me more time to be able to um, you know s spend with her when she gets here as a matter of fact uh, we're going to be starting this on March 22nd because I will be leaving that day going down there to move her up here so um, it's going to help us out a whole lot. I believe it'll help the channel out and we also believe that it's going to help you because like I said being more entertaining and more informative you know it's all about um, bringing you the best that we can and I'll tell you we really appreciate all of your support on both of our channels. Uh, we have the best people uh, or the best community of people uh, following us and honestly guys if it hadn't been for you this channel wouldn't be anywhere so we certainly do appreciate that we take you into consideration we've talked about this uh, at length and um, we just figured that it would be best like I say to do that we hope that you understand and uh, we will be committed you know to bringing you videos every Monday every Wednesday and every Friday and that will give me a break in between to be able to not only to spend time with her and like I say my family and be able to edit videos and because when she calls me a lot uh, generally she'll call me after she gets off work she goes hey how's it going or should I say how's your editing going because and then she'll laugh like I say she's very understanding but uh, you know when she gets moved up here uh, it shouldn't be that way so that's the reason that we're only taking two videos out and might I say that we have such a library now of videos somewhere around I think 275 maybe uh, so if you're new to the channel or if you haven't went back wherever you picked us up at and found us uh, if you haven't went back and viewed those videos there's a whole lot of videos to be able to watch so just by taking out one day a week if you substitute that with an older video um, it would be a long time before uh, you would ever catch up but uh, yeah guys I didn't mean to interrupt the video I just wanted to let you know that so March 22nd that will be our first outpost video then on that's on a Monday and then on Wednesday there will be a review video and then on that Friday there will be another outpost video so we hope that um, this uh, brings the channel uh, like we said more entertainment to you guys um, better quality and to be able to show you a whole lot more production so let's get back to the video
well I actually managed to get quite a bit of this done I actually used the tractor on this section right here um, I was winds picking up I was able to take the bucket push down and I pushed that dirt over into here and then what I did is I kind of came forward tried to level it out best that I could but this will the other fence actually goes or the other post I should say actually go right here so that will provide me my walkway when I dig the other one I'll kind of because there's also a log that's going to lay in here so I will push some of that up to this and stabilize that but um, this will give me about eight inches of soil because a lot of this stuff does grow in this soil right here I'm not really sure what the uh, pH of this soil is if it's uh, more alkaline or more acidotic but um, that'll give me you know a good a good bed of topsoil in here to be able to grow plants um, and like I said, I'm going to continue to use the ashes from both places and mix in here. So my next one, let's see, I may have to take off a little bit more of this right here. Um, but the next posts are going to kind of, I think, go right in here. So I will have room for one more raised bed and basically be at the top of this um, hill right here so I think what I might do if I build this one up a little bit higher then what I could do is actually push some dirt down into that and um, you know kind of level it out from the top there but that will stop this whole bank from eroding and then my I'm gonna have to move all of this material uh, probably tomorrow so that I can get in here uh, because it's basically in line with this poplar tree right here so, I will have to do that in order to get that next bed in there. It's all uh, a little bit slow going, but, um, you know, it is worth it because there's nothing else that I can do with this bank. So, I'm excited about uh, getting all this planted, too. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pack up my stuff. I'll see you guys tomorrow.
need to go past that pole. Well, guys, that <laughs> that tree that we cut wasn't quite long enough. It lacked about two or three feet making the end, so I'm gonna have to put a splice in here. But um, I want to thank Patrick for coming up here and helping me this morning. He's got to run. He's got uh, a commitment that he's got this afternoon, but. That was a lot of help to get, because actually when I drag this dirt and get another piece cut here, I'm actually going to go dig some dirt out of the woods, black dirt, and fill this in before I start building the other one because I won't be able to climb over it to get to this bed. So I have to build them as I go. But um, thanks a bunch for coming and helping me. Um, and this is looking really good. So this one's almost complete, and I'll start on that third one, which will be the last one up here, and a little one that way, and a couple more that way, and I'll be done, be ready for planting. But uh, he wanted to say goodbye before he left. Yeah, so, see you guys. So anyway, I'm going to uh, go down there and get a drink while he's leaving, and then I'll see you all back up here. What we doing? I'm back. Hey, Dad. How are you? Well, I'll see y'all on this side of the camera in just a minute. start a garden. I'm going to make it though. Make it. Gonna make it.
Well guys, we've got our second raised bed put in here now and it's finished and complete. Got it filled up with some black dirt out of the hollow over there. It really looks nice. I'm proud of this. I'm going to build one more up there and that'll put me to the top of the bank. And this is a little walkway so I still have to dig holes there and put the next one in. But um, this is going to be really nice. This is making good use of this bank that I can't do anything else with. But um, This dirt is... East Tennessee Miracle Grow. That's what I like to call it. <laughs> you can really grow those, what did you call them a while ago? Maters. <laughs> Honey, I only hit them with Miracle Grow one time last year when they were babies. And they grew over seven feet tall and I capped them off and cut them back and then they kept growing again over seven feet. I'm telling you, this is the Miracle Grow of East Tennessee. I will do some permanent trellises though uh, on the sections that I'm going to grow cucumbers beans and tomatoes anything that climbs uh, that way they won't be kind of rickety and they'll be there year after year so um, I've got to get uh, something I got to get some sticks shaved off and get those uh, put in here uh, permanent but yeah I mean I really like this effect that it's given this bank that I can't do anything else with those two over there will be a little bit more difficult uh, unless I clip some trees where I can run that tractor around. Um, you could honestly just do the peppers, just a couple pepper plants. To get to those um, because, you know, it's there's no access really from that end over there unless I carry stuff in and then wheelbarrow the dirt in there, but that would be a lot of wheelbarrows. So, um, but anyway... We will make it happen. Have you played the new updated kids game? Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. dun. <laughs> no. I spy with my little eye phone. Phone. Yeah, iPhone. <laughs> it's a new updated kids game. I spy with my little eye phone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that was a cute one. Okay, yeah. guys, we appreciate you stopping by. We're going to go ahead and cut this off here. I'm going to pick up my tools and um, tell you what, shoveling this dirt and peeling all this bark today and um, all this kind of has my back feeling a little bit sore. So I appreciate it. Like I said, you stopping by and hanging out with us up here at the cabin, checking out on what we're doing. Uh, which is we're working on getting these raised beds in. Like I said, I've got one there, two there to go, and a half of one out on that end. So uh, probably take me, I don't know, three, four, five more days to get these all fixed up. But that will make good use of this bank and give me a place that I can actually, um, you know, plant my garden and be right accessible. As soon as I get this back deck done, I'll be able to step right off of that end of the garden. What is a food's favorite dessert? Robert Brownie Jr. <laughs> that was cute. Oh, me. Anyway, we'll get out of here. We've been mudding and mucking and having a good time, but we did miss the manure part because we don't want to be like Smokey. Um, we hope that you continue to share Dad's channel. Love us, like us, leave us comments, send us emails. Um, and we'll see you next time here at the outpost. Be safe. That means you!